Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my NB2K19 My League with the Brooklyn Nets. This is episode 13. Alright, so here we are for his March 7th game against the Spurs. But before we get started, I think I mentioned this last episode. The Raptors are the only team left, or the only team in the East that secured a playoff spot. So we have um, five games left and we still, and everything's still wide open. If I have a two game losing streak, I think that'll put me down to like the eighth or seventh spot. Uh, so every game is crucial here. But we're gonna be playing in San Antonio, as I said for the March 7th game. Sorry, I'm a little congested, I'm a little sick. Uh, but yeah, here we go. I'll see you guys in San Antonio. Ooh, that's a steal already by D'Angelo. I guess you saw that coming, but here comes that. How are you? Here comes a slam by Gerald Green. What a dunk by Gerald Green as he puts Rudy Gay in a poster. Ooh, look at Jared Allen with a block. Our defense has been great this quarter. And Joe give it another poster. This time on DeMar DeRozan. Good look to Karouz. 4-2. Good fast pick opportunity for the Nets. The size of match. Boban taking it easy in the post. Ooh, look at that steal. Doing to us. Chasing it. Lob to Levert. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific Did really with a good steal. Lobbing to Levert for a two-handed slam, and the Nets are by 15 here in the first. Fantastic speed on the break. Speed heel showing no mercy in transition there, partner. Look three. Got it. That's Brooke Lopez with a corner three. That slows down the spur momentum a little bit. It's an eight-point game. Continuing this improbable journey, proving throughout the year that there. Jumping wide right open for three, and got it. Gets it to go. Twenty-one points in their last win against Miami. And he also chipped in with a couple blocks in that game. Just a hint. Luke Lopez with a nice drop step. I'm not sure That's an easy two. To be it's Eleven points. I mean, the first half. <laughs> He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Goes in for three. Oh my gosh. He is on fire, and the lead is only two. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Bellinelli. Tight defense on him. Wow, that was all. He's made a living. Levert's face. The lead is one. It's Carroll in at the small four. And the Nets with possession here. Following the bucket by the Spurs. The kick out to Lopez. Look in the corner all alone. Look at that three. That's the second three of the game. The lead is double digits again. Thank you, Brooke Lopez. Lopez has been a real presence inside on the offensive end in this. Oh my gosh. And the Rosen posterizes two Nets defenders. The two biggest guys there. Garrett Allen, Brooke Lopez. What a dunk. And the Detroit Pistons. And then on Wednesday, they'll go up against Chris Depps, Porzingis, and the New York Knicks. And when you look at that Pacers matchup, there aren't many. Green, that's a three. As this and that pushes the lead to 17. There's about two and a half and minutes left here in the third. Look for the top. The Got down. it. That is a three for Brooke Lopez, and that is a 20 point lead by the Nets. It's stolen by Bobo uses his long arms for a steal. Brook for three. Got it. That's a fast break steal. Fast break three for Brook Lopez. From a steal from Mirjanovic. 
Bulge are coming that down the point. Is the ball game win by 30 plus points against the Spurs? We got hot in the third quarter. And they just went in the complete opposite direction, not hitting any shots, turning the ball over. And we just took over from the three point line, man. The second half, there was an incredible display by Brooke Lopez and the gang. Uh, let's double check our stats here. The Rose in with 32 points. I don't know what happened in the second quarter, but or second half, but he did not do anything afterwards. But uh, for the Nets, we lead the way of Brook Lopez hitting his jump shots. When he does, he was four for four from three. He is dangerous. Uh, followed by Levert's bench points for 15 and four. And then uh, D'Angelo with a 12 and 8 game, 13 and 8 game, followed by Jared Allen's 12 and 4. Boban with a 12, 9, 5 in a 2 game, not in a single block, which is weird to me. Uh, but yeah, everybody played their part, everybody played well. Uh, yeah, the only person that didn't score was Allen Crabb. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so I will see you guys back in the home screen to see what's going on next. Okay, so we're back. We're just going to simulate this game against the Pelicans. Hopefully we win. They're 12 and 11. Sim game. We lose by 17. Wow. I guess it's just they're just exhausted. We're going to sim all the way through this game. All the way through the 14th. The day before we face the Bulls. Uh, where we're going to be in Brooklyn. And we're going to be facing the 10 and 11 Bulls. Uh, so... Before I shut things down, let's see if anyone else got a playoff spot for the East. And no, everything is still wide open. Anything can flip flop, anybody can get eliminated. So, yeah, we're still only a game above the Sixers. Uh, so, we, we got to play this Bulls team pretty well. And I uh, hope you guys stay tuned for it. So, if you guys are new, please subscribe to my channel. Click that uh, notification bell to be basically told whenever, whenever I come out with a new video. Leave any comments below, and if you like what you saw, please click that thumbs up button. I'm trying to get at least three to five, three to five likes for this video. Uh, so hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy, and peace.